Hello everyone, welcome back to Grimm's Garage, and today we're taking a look at the reissue from 2021-22, Masters of the Universe, Motu, Stridor. Please like and subscribe, it help out tremendously, you have no idea, only 4% of my viewers are actually subscribers. Without that out of the way, let's take a look at this guy. Now I know I'm about two years behind on this, that that's because I tried to stay away from Motu. I do love Motu. But if I love something, I want them all. And if I can't afford it, then I don't touch it. But I started trickling some pieces. And here you can see I got Strider for $10. He was marked down at my local Walmart. There was quite a bit of them. Originally marked down to 25 from, I think, 32 I think that's what's under there. But anyway, I am quite intrigued by this. I know some original fans are going to be mad at some changes, but I personally feel for a reissue, because it's a reissue anyway, so whatever, the changes are all improvements, I personally believe. So, first off, it looks like he's got an extra helmet. I don't believe he ever had a secondary helmet. I don't believe he ever had reins. Uh, the blasters, yes. Um, the um, Kessel Grey Skull base attachment, that's new. It's hard to see there, but there's also blast effects. Those are all new. That's the info there. So, yeah. Oh, and by the way, there's one other awesome feature I'll show you once we get this open. So I will be right back. And here we are with our beautiful Stridor. Now, he is way, way better than I anticipated. I don't know why people weren't buying these. There were like six of these in my clearance section in my local Walmart. I, I don't know why. I really don't. Um, yeah, it's already a reissue, so... Yeah, it's not the original. So, why hurt about some changes on a reissue if the changes are only improvements that don't hurt the original aesthetic? Now, the changes here are, well, they've added the reins, which is just a removal of a feature. And the uh, jaw piece goes, moves up and down. It does have that spring jaw. I don't recall that on the original. Really don't. Um, I also don't recall him having all this head movement. Look at all that head articulation. I did not expect that. That is quite pleasant. And if you didn't want to mess with the original static, just keep it straight. With that spring jaw, you can put anything in his mouth, really. Think about some, uh, like, uh, scenes or whatnot. Original looking stickers. Rear tail. It's much the same. Much like the real gun. But the legs are severely, severely different. Not only do we have some silver painting now on the legs, but the old legs were in this position permanently. It, that's it. They were solid. They did not move. These all, now, it was advertised as having articulated legs, and it does. And I didn't really anticipate it having three points of articulation for each leg. This is quite nice. And the, especially the rear ones, they're very stiff locking. So you can get uh, some more supportive poses, whatnot. Of course we have our 
blasters. Let me get that out of the way. Oh, one sec. We got our blasters here. Now these are original. It's the original toy, though I don't recall if they were removable or not. I really don't. But um, there, there's the original blasters. Now, and also, well, let's look at this first. Um, original had one helmet. This one now has removable secondary sig ass helmet. There we go. We get into fierce mode. It's pretty sick. But it also comes with this uh, display kind of stand, which attaches to the Castle Grayskull, which I think is really awesome. It looks like they're doing that with quite a few of the classic reissue vehicles. And this uh, centerpiece there that is lashed onto his belly, that is completely optional. It doesn't have to be there. But it does help when wanting to pose your straw door. How awesome is this? I really, really like this set. Now, I'm going to use Mouse Jaw, the TMNT crossover guy of version of Trap Jaw to throw in here uh, for two reasons. One, he's the only Motu guy I have laying around at the moment. But also, he shares a feature with him because the last feature I need to showcase for this is that Stridor comes with some extra, extra blasters or blast features so you can add these under the tips of the guns to look like he's blasting some enemies. here oh so, oh yeah mouse just got his own mansion blaster now everybody's blasting away absolute havoc my gosh I'm I'm sorry Yes, it's not the original. You know it's a reissue to begin with. I believe this is a phenomenal reissue. Why did this fail and end up in so many clearance sections? Amazing. I hope you'll join me again soon. Thank you for joining me. I hope you all have a very good night. You're so much appreciated.